Amanda. I'm the real estate advisor. Welcome to the Budapest Real Estate Club. As you know, I usually provide lots of information about how to purchase the property in Hungary. Today we have a very exciting moment. I would like to introduce you to the very knowledgeable real estate investor. The Ari Kupsus came to Hungary from Finland more than 17 years ago and he ran his real estate investment projects for many, many years. Ari, hello. Hello, hello. I would like you to tell us your personal story about how you actually came to Hungary and how you started this project and what is behind of it. Can you tell us your personal story a little bit? Yes, yes, with pleasure. Uh, I came to Hungary more than 17 years ago uh, as a tourist for three days only. I was living in Warsaw and I took the train, night train to, uh, to Budapest and uh, 8 o'clock in the morning when the uh, train arrived to Kennedy railway station it took me only 15 minutes when I fell in love with the building of the Kennedy uh, uh, railway station and uh, I just fell in love with the Budapest in three days time. I decided to stay for two weeks, then I went back to Warsaw when I was living and uh, after two weeks staying in, in Warsaw again, I decided to move to Hungary instead of uh, Finland. And uh, after half a year being here in Budapest, enjoying all the cultural activities here, I couldn't move anywhere. And so since that I've been here. And um, that those times the apartments, uh, the rental fees for the renovated apartments were quite high. And uh, I was thinking that why do I pay the high rent uh, for the apartment? Because uh, with the same money I can cut the loans. So I contacted the Finnish bank, I took the loan, 100% loan, and I bought my first apartment in 2000, uh, in January. And, uh, it was a, a quite nice apartment in the Jewish quarters in the 7th uh, district, 150 square meters. It was rented at once uh, to the company from Monaco and the rent, rental fee, as I mentioned, they were quite high those times. So I could pay that uh, loan back. Then I contacted the Finnish bank again and I took another loan and uh, bought another apartment uh, where I live myself since 2000. And uh, this is, and I'm a collector. I <laughs> started somehow collecting these uh, classical apartments. I sold uh, uh, my properties one by one in Finland and invested the money uh, here. And uh, yeah, since that I've been, I've been very happy with the real estate properties in the market here. Actually, to everybody, I would like to tell you a little secret. Ari not just property investor. He became this very noble idea. Because everybody of us who is here, we become not only in love with the uh, rigorous architecture, we also become in love with the culture yes. of the Budapest. Yes. And uh, now actually uh, we are in the Ari's very exciting project. It's the Ari Kupsus Art and uh, Antique Gallery. Ari, please can you tell a little bit about how you become this, this noble idea of the gallery and what is behind your story about it? Um, what is the really point? How is you really created such a noble idea as to bring a lot of very talented young artists? to represent the masterpieces to the public? Well, um, that story actually started in 1999 when I founded my charity organization in Helsinki. I organized a classical concert in my residence monthly and with the income donations I uh, collected the scholarship funds. Here in Hungary, when I decided to stay here, at the, uh, it was 2000, yes, I uh, studied first 
I made a contract, a supporting contract with the Listeres Academy of Music and started to collect funds for the uh, Hungarian students, uh, music students of the Academy. Uh, 2009, I decided to open my own art gallery and I extended uh, the, the support uh, to the uh, uh, Cape Sud University Atem, which is the uh, Academy of Fine Arts. And, uh, but why I opened uh, my own gallery? I was in touch and I knew uh, some artists here, young artists, who had difficulties, of course, financial difficulties, as we can imagine in Hungary and for Eastern Europe. Um, and I started to support them also uh, the other way. When I had bought some of my properties, and uh, which were in bad condition, and at the, that moment I didn't have the funds to renovate them at once, I gave them for the artist as a workshop. Uh, for years, uh, they were using my, my, some of my apartments as a studios, uh, workplaces, where they were uh, creating the arts. And of course, uh, as I'm a foreigner, I have plenty of foreigners uh, uh, coming here to visit me. I have been living in the six different countries, and especially from Finland, uh, people are coming. And uh, I was showing them the, uh, the studios and the workshops, and they were also buying some paintings. And uh, this was the start actually to have the gallery uh, because we were quite successful with my, my uh, visitors, and the artist pushed me to uh, create, to open a gallery. And this was actually the short story why I have the Ari Kutsus Gallery at the moment in Budapest. Ari's very rare presented a lot of talented young artists. Actually, just behind of us, you can see the exciting picture of young uh, Hungarian artist Ormate. Uh, Ormate actually uh, cooperated with the Ari's Gallery for several years. Can you tell a little bit about talented speeches yes. you present? Yes, Ormata is one of the most uh, famous uh, Hungarian young artists. I met Ormata already in 2009 when he was the fourth grade student at the Academy of Fine Arts. And uh, when I opened my gallery the same year, I was looking at uh, the young talents. And uh, that's why one of the professors at the Academy uh, showed me around and uh, uh, that was the first time I met Ormate's works. And uh, next year, 2000, I had the first uh, uh, scholarship uh, handout here in the gallery, and actually Ormate was the first uh, scholarship winner of uh, Arias Kutsusalakos Society uh, Scholarship Foundation. Since that, uh, we have been working with Ormate uh, together, and uh, yes, great. He became a quite famous artist, uh, not only in Hungary but also worldwide. So, everybody who would like to visit the uh, Aris Gallery, please welcome to follow all the news about new events. And the address is Brodeshander Street 23. Ari, please, can you describe a little bit more about your novel idea? How do you support uh, the young artists from Hungary? Yes, uh, um, 1996, uh, 96, I, I founded my charity organization in Helsinki and uh, moved it here to Hungary in uh, 2000 and I decided to stay here. Uh, I noticed that in Hungary there is no uh, state support for the students and the students are really suffering uh, with the financial problems and uh, there are so many talents here in Hungary, and I, I felt so sorry for the students that they can't support, they can't continue their studies if the parents uh, do not have funds for them. And uh, so I decided to move my charity organization from Finland to here. And uh, since 2000, I have been helping only Hungarian uh, students of the Listeres Academy of Music and the Academy of Fine Arts uh, in Budapest. Since uh, 2000, we have had uh, uh, quite many uh, concerts that where we give out uh, and out the scholarships. We have uh, uh, every May we have an exhibition opening here in in the Arikusus Gallery, where we promote and we show the works of the fourth year students of the painting faculty of the Academy of Fine Arts. This 
uh, scholarships, like this year, we gave uh, uh, 16 scholarships uh, for uh, students, and it's so vital for them, uh, so it, and it's a wonderful uh, day. Uh, it's the best day, actually, of my life, the day when I hand out the scholarships, because the students, their reaction is so uh, pricey for me. You know, somebody can't talk, somebody starts crying, somebody starts screaming, you know, it's, it's so important for them. And, uh, and uh, uh, we have already saved a few students' uh, studies and uh, it's, it keeps you so much, uh, so much emotion and so much, so much uh, happiness when you can really help somebody and you see the help, the result of your help. help, not just keep money for some organizations who take your money away somewhere, but, but when, when you can see the reaction of the, of the students when you help them, when they are in, in such a deep final, financial financial problems, struggling with these problems, and then you save their life, almost save their life. Everybody of us invests in our life, and you invest in your energy to the very high goal. Please, can you share a little bit, like, if anybody of us would like to join to support the young, talented artist, how possible to contact and be involved to this culture? Um, Part of the uh, it's easy, actually very easy. Uh, they just contact me, they can call me or they can send me an email and uh, I will give them more information. Uh, uh, actually the scholarship funds is working so that uh, all the members of the Art Collectors Club, which is inside my uh, charity organization, uh, they donate uh, yearly 400 euros, uh, minimum 400 euros if you want you can also donate of course more uh, but the minimum donation is 400 euros uh, we inform in january the academy of fine arts the painting faculty and the fourth year uh, fourth grade of the painting faculty about the possibility to apply the scholarships there are approximately 16 to 20 students uh, from the department applying they send their portfolios uh, with maximum 15 paintings so we have all, uh, approximately 300, 350 paintings offered for this uh, May exhibition. From those 300, 350 paintings, all the donator can, every donator can choose one piece of art. And uh, uh, of course the painter of that uh, painting or the piece of art that they choose will get the scholarship. But the piece of art or the painting stays in the ownership of the donator. So we this time we just like buy the paintings, but it's a scholarship uh, named as a scholarship uh, because uh, then the students can put on their CV that they receive the prize. If we just buy the painting, there is no sign of this kind of thing. So this is another way how we help and we create them. Uh, the, the, It's really exciting because actually it's really the right moment to find a new talent because after 10 or 20 years, like for example the very famous artist uh, uh, which is pictures presented in the Oil Mountain, their pictures now cost much more than 400 euros. Exactly. Please think about it, your investment, your life investment and join us in the Budapest and Budapest Real Estate Club. Ari is going to guide you more and provide more information for in person. Please contact us. As the gallery name already tells, this is Ari Uxus Gallery Art and Antiques. We do not only uh, present uh, contemporary art here, we also do some antiques. Most of the antique pieces are from uh, uh, 18th uh, century um, until 1860. 
For example, here uh, you can see the setting that comes from Russia. This is a Russian ampere from 1830 uh, from uh, St. Petersburg. The table uh, rising desk over there is a very typical Hungarian uh, Peter Mayer from 1840-1850. Here you can see Mades, uh, Ur Mades painting. Uh, Mades is a very well-known artist and uh, his style, which is called Orismus, uh, is uh, very interesting. He has uh, human bodies connected with uh, animal heads, exactly like here, the stack wearing a suit. On the other uh, wall, you can see Adam, Eva is one somewhere. Adam has the apple. Uh, in his hand, which Eva gave him, and the big uh, leaf that uh, Adam was covering his uh, precious parts. Uh, the uh, face of the head of the Adam is the snake head. The gallery is in palace quarters. Budapest, uh, the, the address is Prodishan 23 per B, and uh, Facebook page is called, of course, Arikupsus Gallery, web page arikupsusgallery.com. Welcome.